I've just discovered this new real cool saint who I hope to become friends with and learn more about and uh, continue to be inspired by. This guy is totally cool. His name is Saint Charbel Makloff and he's a Lebanese saint. So let me tell you his story. He was born in 1828 in Lebanon and uh, as a boy he already had a love for prayer and solitude. And he joined a monastery when he was 23 years old and he's, he's a Maronite Catholic, so one of the Eastern Catholic churches. And he spent uh, 16 years in the monastery. He was ordained a priest during that time, uh, but he felt called to living as a hermit. And uh, he asked his superiors if he could live as a hermit, still as a member of the monastery, uh, in one of the monastery hermitages. And the superior didn't know if he was ready. And so he asked the Lord for a sign. The superior asked the Lord for a sign. And one evening, St. Charbel uh, was writing an urgent report and his lamp ran out of oil. So he asked the person who was in charge of replenishing the lamps to, to fill his lamp with oil. And the, the person played a joke on St. Charbel and put water in his lamp rather than oil. And when Charbel lit his lamp, it began to, to burn brightly and it continued to burn and burn and burn. And the superior was notified and the superior came and he confirmed that uh, the, the oil lamp was burning on water and it was continuing to burn on water. So for the superior, that was a sign that, okay, Charbel is ready to go live as, as, as a hermit. And so it says that uh, he, as a hermit, he lived an extremely hard life full of mortifications. He endured fatigue, hunger, poverty, and cold with the courage of a martyr. And it says he worked and prayed and prayed and worked. So he was really a uh, wholehearted in his, uh, in his Aramaical life, his life as a hermit. And he had a particular love and devotion for the Eucharist. It says that he would prepare himself for hours uh, before celebrating the Holy Eucharist. And then he would, uh, for hours after celebrating the Eucharist, give thanks to the Lord for uh, having been able to receive him uh, in the Eucharist. Now he died at the age of 70 on December 24th, on Christmas Eve in 18. 98. So he's a fairly recent uh, saint. And uh, after uh, he, he died, he was buried in the monastery, but without a coffin. They wouldn't use coffins in that monastery. And it says that for 45 nights after he was buried, there was a glow over his tomb. And this was witnessed by, by many people. And they tried to find an explanation, but they couldn't find any explanation for why there was this brilliant glow over his tomb. And they, they believed it to be miraculous. So they exhumed his body about four months after he was buried and found his body to be completely incorrupt. And not only that, but it was, uh, it was still bleeding and sweating, you know, which they had no explanation for. And um, between that time and his beatification, they exhumed his body four times, and each time they found it to be incorrupt, sweating, and bleeding, which, again, uh, completely miraculous. And there's been thousands of miracles attributed to Saint Charbel, including recent ones in our own time. And so they call him the second Saint Anthony of the Desert and the Perfume of Lebanon. So let's pray for his intercession. I want to become one of St. Charbel's good friends. And so let's pray St. Charbel of Makhlouf, pray for us.